What's good, everybody? I'm back with another video. You already know it from the words of my boy, Ball here. What it do, Jack? So, today's video is brought to you by Tactonet. All right. They're a company that creates brass catcher. So, they sent me a little package out. Let's open it up. Okay. Got a nice little box. This is a six step process. All right. Brass catch. And today we will be installing this on my AR 15. Let's see what's in this box. Okay. Come with this little basket like the hardware. Got a bag. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Little zipper there. Nice little knitting. I like the logo on there. Now, let's, I guess, put it together. The instruction is on the box. Okay, step one. All right, insert the large plate into the metal bracket. Step two, slide the large plate with the net into the small plate. Okay. Step three, adjust the back and forward for the better performance. Step four, separate the parts of the, the small plate. Step five, install the small plates on the gun rail and tighten the screws and slide. Step six, slide the large plate with the net into the small plate. Yeah, um, I'm gonna put this together like right now. And then next time you see me, I'll be putting it on the gun. Be back. All right. So what is what this work is? It come with your little screw set, the Allen key, right here. Fit all three screws. So you have to take that plate off and attach to it. And then center it like that. And the little notches there is for, this is what goes on your pick rail. And it just basically just inserts there and slide to wherever you want it to go to. Okay. Now, next step to do is install your, your, your basket. So, this basket should be able to, it's heat resistant mesh, so you don't have to worry about burning through it when you lend off your round. Um, it holds more than a hundred um, hundred rounds, shell case. Just a little, something for you to know. Yes, this is a Velcro. I gotta take this out. Got to unfasten it. What you want to do is, you see so you got the logo here, you, and you got your slider here. You want to make sure it's in the spot that you wanted it. So basically, you set your metal rack in there, and you're going to go over the top of the, the, the rail that's in the inside, um, latching the Velcro to the other piece, just like this.
bar that the slider go on, you see how I got that double bar? You want to go behind the sliding mount as such. Make sure that you are behind it and this the way it looks. It's where you're, you can adjust your slider any kind of way you want to to fit your whip. All right. So secondly, we're gonna go ahead and get the AR that we're gonna mount it up. Let's do this. All right. Just the first AR I built, let's go ahead and clear it. Still got the old Picatinny reel. <laughs> What is red dot? But this is the one we mounted it on. Let's see. See, it goes on just such. Yeah, let's put this bag on. Like I said, you can adjust it how you need to go. Voila. It's out the way every time. It's the same function to move. some rounds in this bad boy. Sorry for the way the video turned out. Hey, my GoPro died on me and the phone that we were using, yeah, declared it wasn't good. But hey, we got some shooting done. We got the video to you so you can see how the product worked. All right. So once again, I apologize. We got it. So if you want to purchase one of these, I will put their information in the description below. If you go to the site, put in J-O-A-T-15, you get 15% off on this bag. Hey, and let's be mindful that it it says a hundred over a hundred rounds, I mean over a hundred shells installed in this little bag. So don't go put 150, 200 rounds or 200 shells, whatever you want to call it, in the bag and expect when you run. It's gonna hold it. It's not gonna hold it. Let's be mindful of that. It's gotta open it, okay? But anyway, I hope you like what you saw. Please like, share, comment. Um, if you're not a subscribed to the channel already, please subscribe to the channel and share it. You know, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a friend. We don't already know how they go. All right, once again, I appreciate TechNet for um, sending me out a product to test and review. Until next time. Y'all be safe. Peace.